Why hello there and welcome to another fantastic episode of Girl Got Game, Ask Lucy. Let's see if I answered your gaming question. I'm going to find a nice pub, buy some pirate grog and sit down with a couple of nice wenches and see where that situation takes me. Or go whaling, but I'll probably do the grog and wenches. Hi Shark, and thanks ever so much for my first existentialist girl got game question. Like most existential questions, the answer lies in the interpretation of the individual. So all answers are valid and correct. Equally, it could be a flying guy with a gun and a guy with a flying gun. Also, if one of those trees falls down after we've flown past it, would it make a noise? Mm. The thing with retro games is that they are eternally being remade and they're never as good as people want them to be. Because fans have an idea in their head which is essentially perfect, they'll never be satisfied. I prefer a good old reworking of a classic game. The Halo Combat Evolved remake, for instance, was the same game but with the original graphics painstakingly dressed up and that worked really well, especially as you can flip between old and new graphics. I think Ubisoft are doing what they have to do to make the game great. Don't forget they're screwing all their businessy cash forecasts by shunting the game. It's a huge disappointment that Watch Dogs isn't a next-gen game launch title, but it does mean when it does drop, it will be a better game than one which would have come out in a month or so. This happens all the time. Remember GTA 5 was pushed from April to September and look how good that made it! Kill them all, rob them, steal their cars, RPG their houses, then ride off into the distance in a gleaming inferno to the sound of Nan Star Pop FM. It's the GTA way. Personally, I prefer the Xbox One controller, but both controllers feel a bit new and weird in my gaming hands. The PS4 controller is a big improvement on the last DualShock, but they'll both take a bit of getting used to. It's a struggle we're happy to take on though. You make your own karma. Be polite, griefing free, responsible and an exemplary online gaming chap. And your Barcelonas and AC Milans will come to you. You just need to believe. I'd say the PS Vita. It's a perfect little handheld with a terrific screen, excellent touchpad on the back and will interact with your console in all sorts of clever ways. Plus, we'll drool play a whole load of PS3 games. It's a bloody brilliant bit of tech and I'm gobsmacked it hasn't fared better. You silly gaming socks. That's it for another week of gaming questions. If you want me to answer your gaming question, then make sure you tweet in to nuts underscore official with the hashtag AskLucy. And tune in next week for more Girl Got Game stuff. It may well come with added Call of Duties.